No stopping me this time. Sometimes I think this mess you call your chambers is one which you've cultivated with great pride. Is that the way of it? I take some pride in making messes, yes. Oh, Poseidon. How fares your feud against my crusty elder brother lately? Good? Big Hades, he's disagreeable with all of us, not just with you. So don't you take it personal and stick with me. The power of the sea. Change of plan. Skulls. Stygius grows stronger. riches. I can take it. Poseidon offered you his blessing, you could see. He can be rather boastful and belligerent, exhibiting the most unattractive manners of your father and Lord Zeus alike. Zagreus. Be thankful you're immune. You sprang from Nyx herself, or so I hear. I sprang from Thea, whoever she was. And I once bore a child, too. Long gone. Her mother's work. Isn't it such a waste? Eat. 
right there. I caught a knucklehead. So how do you like the surface, hey, Prince said, now that you've finally had a chance to see it for yourself? Not too bad, I hope. It takes some getting used to, that's for sure. I'm not sure I'll ever grow completely accustomed to it. Do you miss it? Oh, you know, I still have almost everything that matters, and the rest, it makes for precious memories I didn't have up there. Easy done. Cheers, mate. Take care of yourself. Oh, no. You cannot escape. Quite enough. I'm with you every step till you arrive here, Zagreus. Then I will probably ignore you like the rest. Just warning you ahead of time, all right? Up. Oh well. Your mother has returned to us already, Zagreus. And still you're going to keep battling your way out, past me and everything up there. Why? Father says there's no escape from here, and I like to repeatedly show him he's wrong. Besides, I think getting out there a bit from time to time does me some good. Sounds like you found yourself a steady line of work. Most jobs just need doing. If this one gives you some fulfillment, stick to it. Now come on.
good as I picked it up. been doing lately anyway still keeping his hair and those neat little curls i guess his tan must have faded by now curls um not exactly no but he's doing all right for him he's started singing again lately which was a big step he never used to before would go on about how he'd lost his muse and now he knows i'm out there still huh that's well thank you for the update hon music's his gift Good to know he's not thrown everything away. As you wish, your royal majesty. Till next time. Careful, hon. to say the barge of death is never late.
quickly decided, nephew. I am accustomed to such disrespect from all those blasted mortals, Zagreus. But you... I'm sorry, Demeter. Let's give her a show. a little winter's chill, didn't you there? Be careful, though. The next season could be worse. See you regrew your neck. Not yet. Switch. Might help. Take me up. Got it.
someone's back at home with you down there now, cuz. I call it wonderful news, except it isn't news, at least not yet. Though if the time comes that you want to spread the word, just give the signal here. Assistance, Sagrius? Think you can beat me? Occasionally, yes. Good. Now I can get you back for last time. All I need is one clean hit. Not now. Poseidon, this here is for you. Would that my father were as easygoing as yourself. Ah, the show of generosity from my most favored nephew. Your gift is mightily appreciated. I'll just go ahead and add it to the pile. Two blessings are better than one.
time to collect. comes to you by riverboat this time, young Sagris. At least that Charon is amenable to our attempts to contact you. A boon for a boon. I'll pay for that. So, 
try as you might, monster. You shall not shake either my own resolve or that of my dear friend. enough coin. If I were a Sator sack, where would I be? You. Fast this time. You know my father and my uncle by now, right, Zagreus? I don't know which of them is worse. I mean, superior. <laughs> superior, despite technically spending most of his time in the seas beneath Olympus. Isn't that right, uncle? Oh, Artemis, you needn't boast a little Hades there, on my account. Besides, 
Whether you're in the sea, above it, or beneath, makes little difference to your measure as a god. You two are young as yet. Keep at it, and you'll soon be practically as great as I. Time to hunt. <coughs> Bit of an aftertaste. One satyr sack coming right up. Just what I need. Each violent countenance of Cerberus agrees the satyr sack must be destroyed. For now, boy. Be right with you, father. Looks like the realm needs some adjustments still. I shall give you no quarter, boy. Although I doubt that you expect it otherwise. Not yet. and an eternal torment to you if you speak of this.
must admit, you learned something at some point in all this. Such strength, boy. Say hi to Hypnos for me. Now that was quick. Reflecting on his victory, Prince Zagris observes how death can take hold in so many different ways, at times quite slowly, and at other times. Ah! Well, that was interesting. Those shades are always milling about. I think that I can find the lounge well on my own, Hypnos. Oh, wait. What is this? Did you just ask me out? Me? No, 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 no! I'd never even think to do that, miss! I mean, you have your station, and I have mine. We're from two different worlds, you could say. Fated never to be seen together much. Every time I talk to you, you somehow take it as a compliment. Is that correct? Then let me give you some advice for once. Stop being an idiot. I'll give it a shot. Alas. I knew you could there do it. Nyx has a very steady presence, doesn't she? I want to say she hasn't changed a bit since before you were born, but... I know that she's been through a lot. She's always managed, and quite gracefully at that. Never seen her break a sweat over anything. Even when I confronted her about you. Though you two seem closer than I realized, I think. Well, your father isn't always the conversationalist, and Nyx... She was the first Chthonic god I ever met. I suppose she welcomed having another lady about the house. I'm sure she did. Um, Achilles, sir. There's something I've been wondering about your codex. The words are yours, and yet it's through my actions that I'm able to absorb them. Is that how mortal scriptures always work? Ah. You have to understand, lad. I've been here in your father's realm for quite some time. My documented learnings became bound to me, much like the spear, you see. You can undo those bindings over time. Thus, my knowledge can be yours, whatever it amounts to. I see. I think. I'm grateful for it, sir. Regarding your responsibilities, our resources director is available to you in my private quarters. Normally, it would be I alone transferring excess resources back into our realm. The fabled resources director. So now I get to give away the hard-earned resources I've painstakingly gathered over time. You get to do precisely that. It is not necessary that you do. But if you wish to rise above your current station, you shall do it. What's the point in rising above my current station? I thought our work was to be done in secrecy. It is. There is no point but pride. And pride is dangerous. Do what you will. I care not as long as everything gets adequately done. Sounds great. Keeping busy, Resources Director. It's been a while, Resources Director. I'll be sure to pay you a visit whenever I'm swimming in underworld valuables and want to feel better about myself in my new role. You drive a hard bargain, Resources Director. Here are the gems. 
Nothing like a mosaic depicting my arch enemy in the Bull of Minos to spur me on. Do give the champion of Elysium my best regards when next you're slain by him. Orpheus, you have to hear this straight from me. I vanquished my own father on the outskirts of the Temple of Styx, at the surface. I know how this looks since I'm back here and so is he. You believe me, don't you? Of course I do, my friend. Though you must know, your father has requested his relationship to you be kept quite clandestine. You'll understand if I not sing your praises in this case, won't you? Fine, all right. I sense the growing darkness in you, child. I am so very proud of you. You always have been capable, yet now you seem to radiate with newfound power. I'm getting somewhere, I guess. Here's what I caught. Done deal. Your, your Highness! I think I finally know a little more about how you must feel, Dusa. Working for Father, I mean. I was so intent on running away from here, but here I am. Look, Prince, um, your father's always been a pretty scary god. And this is something between you and him. So, if you can forgive him, I guess it means you'd stay? And I would like that, so that's where I stand. I know it's really complicated, though. Yeah. Thanks, though. <sighs> it's nice here. You have come a pretty long way, let me tell you. I think most of the smarts I've picked up, you know by now. And so, if I'm fresh out of tips for you, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Stand there eternally to be wailed upon at my whim using whichever weapon suits me at the time. Yep, now hop to I need the rail. Hexagriff. 